Louise Lear. It's still not feeling like December weather, is it? Mm, very mild, hasn't it, so far this December, and pretty bland, really, for most of us. In fact, this weather watcher's picture really illustrates the story. Again, another pretty cloudy start, low cloud and fog, and a rather grey story. But things are set to change, it has to be said. So after a quiet start to the week, it's going to turn increasingly wet and windy with gales or severe gales sandwiched in between the two we could for a time see some brighter interludes as well. The reason being, though, the high pressure that's been the driving force for so long, that's drifting a little bit further east into Europe, and it's opening the floodgates for a series of low pressures to move in from the Atlantic, powered by a very fast-moving jet stream at the moment. The ice of ours squeezing together, gales or severe gales likely, as one area of low pressure moves away, a brief lull in proceedings before another. And this little fellow, well, that could arrive perhaps for Christmas weekend. But let's move back to the here and now before we take a look at that in a bit more detail. A lot of cloud around today, as you can see quite clearly. The cloud's been thick enough, the odd spot or two of light drizzly rain as well for some. But look at Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. Beautiful afternoon for you. I hope you're making the most of it because all change for tomorrow. But some lovely spells of sunshine through Western Scotland and Northern Ireland. Perhaps the cloud thick enough across Eastern Scotland, down into the Lake District in Wales. The odd spot or two of drizzle here, a little more disappointing. And a weather front is steadily drizzling drifting its way westwards out of southeast England towards the Midlands and into Lincolnshire for the afternoon. Fair amount of cloud generally across England and Wales, another drab afternoon for many. That, the band of patchy rain will drift its way steadily westwards, but further north under the clearer skies we see the temperatures falling away. A frost is likely through Northern Ireland and Scotland in towns and city centres around freezing, but perhaps in rural parts as low as minus two to minus four Celsius. Not set to last though, the next area of low pressure will move in and this will bring some wet and windy weather. Very heavy rain for a time through Northern Ireland, gales or severe gales, maybe storm force for a time in the extreme northwest of Scotland. So a wet and windy afternoon. By contrast, though, for many central and eastern areas, the clouds should break up tomorrow and we'll see some glimpses of sunshine. Temperatures fairly uniform at around 6 to 8 degrees. Now, as we move out of Tuesday into Wednesday, that weather front continues to push its way steadily south. The ice of ours still squeezed together, still windy, plenty of frequent squally showers in the far northwest, some of them heavy with some hail, even snow to the tops of the mountains. It stays wet and mild to the south, much colder further north. Sophie. Louise, thank you. A reminder now of our main story this lunchtime.